So I have to be honest, initially I had no intention of reviewing this movie, mostly because I had a very busy weekend, and I was sick for most of it as well. But then Five Nights at Freddy's became the surprise smash hit of the Halloween season, with an estimated $78 million in its opening weekend at the box office. Couple that with the polarizing reaction to the film, with most critics not liking it and fans seemingly loving it, I thought it was only right that I add my two cents to this discussion. Let's discuss. I watch so you don't have to. Before I get started, I'd like to kindly ask that you hit the like button, and please subscribe to the channel for more content just like this. What are you waiting for, huh? What are you waiting for? Five Nights at Freddy's is a video game adaptation that follows a troubled security guard as he begins working at Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria. He quickly realizes that spending the late night shift in a place like this won't be so easy to make it through. I'm going to start off by saying I know absolutely nothing about the source material. So what I was looking for in this movie was an introduction into this world that I could follow and that might get me interested in seeing more. And I think the movie does an okay job at filling the audience in if you have no idea what Five Nights at Freddy's is. But on the flip side of that, I feel like you do have to have a general knowledge of the games or the lore to truly appreciate this movie. That makes sense. This movie, to me, was made for a very specific audience, and I am clearly not that audience. And there's nothing wrong with that, I'm just making an observation. Five Nights at Freddy's was nothing like what I thought it would be, and normally that's a good thing, but this time around I just personally felt a little bit disinterested and bored. How can you not care? Like this. I think it would be very easy for someone to go into this movie thinking they are going to see a balls-to-the-wall, twisted horror film. In reality, this movie actually blends a more tame PG-13 horror with a surprising amount of somewhat family-friendly moments. It's very obviously shying away from the R rating and keeping most of the violence off-screen. Which, when you think about the core audience of this film, I guess that makes a lot of sense. It just feels like it was made for a younger teen crowd. How do you do, fellow kids? All of the horror moments in the film is pretty much relegated to smash cuts and jump scare moments. An animatronic teddy bear lunges at the screen and cut to the next scene and the person's dead. There was one moment where they pushed the envelope ever so slightly, and they actually have one of the victims cut in half. But it's very quick, and you don't really see any of the blood or gore or anything like that. And to be clear, I'm not the type of person who needs blood and gore, or an R rating to enjoy a horror film. But there has to be something else in a PG-13 horror film to keep me interested. Tension, atmosphere, something. And to me, Five Nights at Freddy's really didn't have much of anything. Not a damn thing! I did appreciate the attempt to add a little bit of intrigue to the lead character's story, even if the actor himself comes off as a bit wooden in his performance from time to time. Obviously, we can't have him in a pizza parlor for the entire runtime of the film, running away from animatronic characters. So we get a little bit of backstory, we see that he experienced a tragedy in his past, and he's currently in a custody battle with his aunt for the rights to raise his sister. Why do you cry? And throughout the film, he's just portrayed as this down-on-your-luck guy who can't catch a break. And all of that is fine. But throughout the movie, he's also having these dreams, which refer back to the tragedy that he experienced. And the dreams came off as very surreal to me, and almost as if they didn't belong in this movie. Now, I don't know if this is a part of the game or not. Again, I know nothing about it. But these sequences feel like they were ripped out of a random A24 film and shoehorned into a Five Nights at Freddy's film. Uh. Why? I understand why they exist, but the execution was a bit strange to me. It just felt kind of out of place. The whole idea is to make this conflict that he has with the animatronics a bit more personal. I get it. So points for trying to craft more of a story here, but overall the story just didn't work for me. Also, there's a villain boss fight in the film that does feel a bit like it came right from a video game. The villain reveal, however, was very predictable. You're pathetically predictable. Now, I don't know if that was intentional. All I know is that when it happened, I was just like, oh, okay, that's what I figured. Now let's move on. As far as the other characters go, we have Vanessa, who basically feels like she was designed as a character 
just to deliver exposition. And it's always great to see Matthew Lillard in a movie. The guy is a national treasure, even if he did feel a bit underutilized in this film. I feel a woozy air! The rest of the cast are pretty much cannon fodder, which left zero impression on me. Overall, as you can tell, I can't say that I was all that impressed with Five Nights at Freddy's. It's got a decent side story for the main character, even if parts of it are a bit cliche. The horror elements of the film were pretty underwhelming and forgettable, and I just felt next to nothing while watching it. I think if you are a fan of the games, there are little nuances and references throughout the film that might make you enjoy it a bit more. But as an outsider looking in, I can't say that I was all that intrigued by anything going on in the film. Not impressed. To me, it felt like a streaming movie through and through, which actually makes it all the more impressive that this film did so well in theaters. What can we take from that? Well, apparently, Five Nights at Freddy's is more popular than some people realize. And also, if I know Hollywood, they are currently looking for other somewhat obscure video games that they can now adapt to try to replicate this success. As for Five Nights at Freddy's, I can't say that I will ever have interest in watching this movie ever again, and that's why I'm going to give it the careless Sam Gerard. I don't care! Y'all be cool. Run up.